Close your eyes and imagine yourself standing on the deck of a ship, gently swaying with the rhythm of the Mediterranean Sea. The year is 1921 and the salty breeze carries a sense of excitement as if it knows that within these very waters, a scientific revolution is about to take place. Amidst the vast expanse of blue, a young scientist gazes out at the horizon. As the sun casts his golden rays upon the sea, he notices something peculiar. The color of the water dances with shades of turquoise, while the sky above radiates a majestic azure. A question arises in his mind, daring him to challenge the established notions of his time. Why is the color of the sky and the sea so different? This simple question will drive our young scientists to challenge principles already set by renowned physicist Lord Rayleigh. And many years into the future, it would help astrophysicists gaze into deep space to figure out the very chemical compositions of entire planets. It would enable biologists to detect diseases like cancer. It would also help develop forensic science and catch criminals. Can you imagine? This is the story of a scientist who dared to question, to challenge, and to redefine our understanding of the universe. Welcome to A Century of Stories brought to you by IDFC First Bank. Always you first. I am Kunal Vijaykar and I'm here to tell you the story of Sir C.V. Raman. Sir Chandrasekhara Venkata Raman was born on November the 7th, 1888 in Tiruchirappalli, Tamil Nadu. Raman didn't come from a very well-off family. But that did not stop him from working hard to pursue the only thing he cared about, science. While studying, Raman had some major health issues and was declared medically unfit to go to England. Due to this disappointing turn of events, C.V. Raman left the field of science. He joined the Auditor General's office to support his family. Many individuals choose to compromise their lives at a certain point and abandon their dreams. However, Raman, with his insatiable hunger for knowledge, could not ignore his true calling for long. While working for the Indian Financial Services during the day, he dedicated his nights to conducting research and writing academic papers at IACS. His works finally allowed him to travel abroad for further studies which led him to this voyage on the Mediterranean Sea and to that moment when he would wonder, why is the color of the sky and sea so different? Is there a scientific principle at play here? You see, before that, renowned scientist Lord Rayleigh had proposed a theory that the deep blue color of the sea is merely because it is a reflection of the sky. But Raman saw that the colors of the sky and the sea are kind of different. So does that theory even make sense? This set of Raman on a quest to uncover the truth. He conducted experiments and proposed a groundbreaking new theory, the Raman effect. Raman's groundbreaking experiment laid the foundation for a scientific technique called Raman spectroscopy. Using this, Today's scientists are able to examine the composition of rocks and minerals. On Mars, it was used to do microscopic sample analysis on the rock samples gleaned from the surface of Mars on NASA's Mars 2020 rover mission. Raman spectroscopy is used to identify and analyze molecular structures, enabling precise characterization of chemicals and their interactions. It's a powerful tool for quality control, forensic analysis, and even detecting counterfeit drugs. Raman spectroscopy plays a vital role in non-invasive diagnostics. It enables researchers and doctors to examine tissues and cells, detecting early signs of diseases like cancer, and providing valuable insights for personalized medicine. Just 
think about how varied the applications of the Raman effect are. Figuring out mineral composition of rocks on Mars, check. Detecting traces left behind by criminals at a crime scene, check. Detection of diseases and developing medicines, check. The impact of Sir C. V. Raman's experiment goes far beyond his original discovery. It sparked a scientific revolution, enabling us to explore the invisible realms of light and uncover hidden truths about our world. In recognition of his exceptional contribution, Sir C. V. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930, becoming the first non-white person to receive this honor. The Nobel Prize not only celebrated Raman's accomplishments, but also brought global attention to the scientific achievements of India. So C. V. Raman's experiment may have seemed simple at first glance, but its impact on the world of science is immeasurable and has incredible applications even today. In addition to the Nobel Prize, Sir C. V. Raman was bestowed with the prestigious Bharat Ratna, the highest civilian award in India. Raman's legacy lives on through the Raman Research Institute in Bengaluru, a testament to his indelible mark on the scientific world. Today, we celebrate the day Sir C. V. Raman received the Nobel Prize on National Science Day. Visionary scientists like him continue to inspire our nation to innovate, contribute to science, and push the boundaries of knowledge. Sir C. V. Raman's Mediterranean journey reminds us of the power of a single individual to shape our understanding of the world. All you need to do is stare at the sea and ask, why is it blue? This is Kunal Vijaykar and you've been watching A Century of Stories brought to you by IDFC First Bank. Always you first. Next week, I will tell you the story of how three men went out to build a factory but ended up establishing an entire privately owned city instead. I, V,